Hey guys, it's Chris Goff, and this video is meant to be a beginner's guide to setting up your real estate investing business, where I could cover the basics and give you a blueprint to follow so you can launch your real estate investing career and get started on the right path. It doesn't matter if you're starting part or full time. It doesn't matter what strategy you're investing with because this checklist is going to get you up and running and it doesn't take a lot of time or money. I put this checklist together because I see so many people that want to get into real estate but don't know where to get started, what they should do, or when they should do them. Look, the whole point to investing is to essentially make money, either making additional income, replacing your J-O-B income, or building a retirement. I like all three. And it starts with building a foundation, and that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. So if you learn something valuable in this training, I would love for you to smash that like button, which really helps me out. So the very first thing you should do, which may sound simple, but it's very important, is to understand the opportunity. When I got started over 20 years ago, I knew real estate was the way to go. It was something in my heart that I said, I'm gonna do this. I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna get started. And the more that I learned about it, I was hooked. I mean, if you didn't want to talk about real estate, don't come talk to me because that's all I wanted to talk about. I mean, think about it. Real estate is a necessity and they don't make any more land. So no matter what strategy you want to get started with, go learn as much as you can and get motivated because we learn best when we have a reason to learn. As you advance your real estate education, keep looking at your goals and stay focused on your outcomes. I have several videos that you should check out and be sure to smash that like button. So number two is choose a business name. Take a simple approach to this because for some people, this may be the most difficult part. I have three basic rules and that is make it unique, easy to say, and easy to remember. You want to project yourself as a professional. So avoid it, you know, too fancy and avoid initials and in using your name. Because what happens if you decide to sell your company down the road? I mean, you never know, I'm just saying. The surest way to review a name is to do a phone test. I want you to pick up the phone and say, hello, this is Chris from blank blank company. If you could complete that sentence without embarrassment, you probably have a good name. You also wanna go online and search your state's division of corporations to check name availability. Number three, secure a domain name. This kind of goes hand in hand with choosing a business name because you want to make sure that the domain name matches if at all possible. There are several online companies you can purchase your domain like godaddy.com and you might as well get an email with your domain and hosting for your new website so you don't have to come back and do this step again. Number four, set up a business entity. This also goes along with steps two and three because you wanna make sure that your business name isn't already being used by another company and you'll most likely get denied by the Secretary of State. Doing business as a sole proprietorship is not the way to operate. A better alternative is to set up your business as an LLC or corporation. There are several online companies out there that can do this for you like Rocket Lawyer and LegalZoom. An attorney will cost you big bucks. If you'd rather do it yourself, contact your state's division of corporations and follow their instructions. Once you get approved by the state and have an EIN number, which stands for Employer Identification Number, which you can simply apply for at irs.gov, Go ahead and set up a business checking account at your bank. You're going to need a place to deposit all that money you're gonna make. And as a disclosure, you should seek a competent CPA and discuss which entity is best for you. Number five, get a logo. Today, it's easy to create a simple, good-looking logo for little cost. If you search online, you can find low-cost and even free software for making your logo such as places like canva.com. You can also find affordable designers at sites like fiverr.com, which is a great place to go for a lot of things you can get for your business. Number six, get a website. Your website will be your main marketing tool to not only generate new business, it's about your credibility. Having a great website isn't just about looking pretty. It must have great content, call to action, simplicity, opt-in forms, and the benefits of working with you. There are several online companies that you could use to build your website or have someone build it for you. One of my favorite sites, which will include landing pages, 
is called lead pages. Number seven, miscellaneous stuff. And I'm talking basic stuff like phone, email, business cards. Yes, I said business cards. And even a dedicated place to conduct your business. This could be a quiet place in your home. And of course, a software that's going to speed up all of the behind the scenes stuff like researching property info, running comps, making offers, and marketing for deals. Obviously, my recommendation is REI Pro. It's gonna save you a lot of time, as well as walking you through the buying and selling process. Action is the golden key to your success, and action begins here with these simple steps to launch your career in real estate investing. And if you don't take action, nothing will ever happen. So take this information and do something with it. Otherwise, it will just be another video you go through. And if you're learning something valuable, please smash that like button because it will really help me out. I put together a video that will teach you the pros and cons of each real estate investing strategy. Go check that video out now and be sure to subscribe so you can receive more videos about investing in real estate the correct way. And I'll see you on the next video.